There was a heist in the Great Museum of Art. A very valuable and important painting was stolen. A detective investigated the crime scene and managed to find the person who had stolen the painting. However, when the detective asked the thief to give it back, the criminal gave him three copies of the same painting. He refused to tell the police which one was original. But the detective immediately figured it out. How do you think he did it? Do you see that each painting has a different frame? But only one of them is similar to the frames of other paintings in the museum. And since this museum is known to use the same style of frames, this one is the original painting. Jeremy was accepted to the best school of witchcraft and wizardry. One of the classes he had to take was about transforming into animals. Three professors taught that class, and each of them specialized in transforming into one certain animal. Can you tell which professor turns into what kind of animal? Do you see that the first professor has a forked tongue? She must transform into a snake. Have you noticed that the second professor has a lion's tail? Her animal must be a lion. And do you see bear claws the third professor has? Then he must turn into a grizzly bear. Tony was going to study abroad for one semester. He flew into another country, found his new dorm where he was going to stay, and unpacked his stuff. Then he called his parents to inform them he'd arrived. They asked him, what time is it there? Tony was pretty tired and jet-lagged, so he couldn't immediately tell what time it was. Can you help Tony figure out the time? Look, the Eiffel Tower and Sydney Opera House views are just posters. But you can actually see Mount Fuji through the window. So, Tony is in Tokyo, and it's 8.45 there. Carly, Zoe woke up one day and found themselves in a weird place that looked like a jail. Which of them will be able to escape? Carly can escape because the bars of her prison cell are made of wax. She'll be able to use the candle on the floor behind her back to melt them. Zoe can also escape. Do you see several rats in the corner that are munching on the bars? It's because the bars of the girl's cell are made of salted breadsticks. And she can eat them and escape. Isabella was a princess and the heir to the throne. One day, an evil witch lured her into an enchanted forest so that she could take over the kingdom. Isabella got lost. But fortunately, she had a magic pendant. The king's magician gave it to her some time ago, claiming it would help her find her way back if she ever got lost. She used the pendant, and three spirit animals appeared. The first spirit animal was an owl. The second one was a butterfly. And the third spirit animal was a hawk. Only one of them knew the way back to the castle. But if Isabella chose to follow the wrong animal, she would find herself even further away from her kingdom. Which spirit animal should she follow? Have you noticed the kingdom banner in the throne room? It has a butterfly on it. So it's the official symbol of this kingdom. Isabella should follow the butterfly. Toby was a rich businessman. One day, he came back home from a dinner party and saw that somebody had broken into his house and stolen his expensive watch from his safe. He called the police. They investigated the crime scene and found three suspects. Gordon said that at that time, he'd been at home trying to make his teenage kids go to bed. Danny said he'd spent the whole night at a party with his friends. And Matt claimed that he'd been at a movie theater watching a new superhero movie between 12 and 2 a.m. The police immediately realized who'd broken into Toby's house and stolen the watch. Have you figured it out?
it was mad. When Toby arrived home, it was 11.30 p.m., so it doesn't matter where Matt was between 12 and 2 a.m. Elliot was a crazy scientist who was obsessed with the idea of parallel universes. He dedicated his whole life to figuring out how to create portals to other dimensions. One day, he finally succeeded in building a portal machine. When he tried to test it, three portals appeared in front of him. And then, the machine just blew up. And since he had meddled with the laws of physics, the universe where he lived started to collapse. The scientist had to choose one of the portals to escape through, and fast. The first portal opened to the universe in which Elliot was a supervillain. The second portal opened in the world in which the man was a ruthless king. The third portal opened on the planet where Elliot was an underwater creature. Which portal should he choose? Do you see the portal machine the supervillain Elliot is holding? It's the same as the one that destroyed itself. Apparently, supervillain Elliot is a scientist as well. He might be able to help the real Elliot to bring his original universe back by making a better portal machine. Sally was at a crowded concert. Suddenly, she felt somebody reaching into her bag and pulling out her wallet that only had her credit cards inside. She couldn't see who the person was. But after checking the footage from the surveillance cameras, security guards were able to narrow it down to three suspects. Joshua said he had been sharing concert videos on his social media and didn't have anything to do with the theft. Jennifer said she was super rich and didn't need anyone else's wallet with credit cards. She only used cash when she went shopping. Penny said she had been singing along to the song the band had been playing, so she didn't even know what had happened. The security guards immediately figured out who the thief was. Who stole Sally's wallet? Nobody told Jennifer that the wallet contained only credit cards. But somehow, she still knew it. She must have stolen it. Mary found a new job in another city, so she had to move. The realtor found three options for Mary to choose from and took her to see each of them. First, she brought Mary to apartment number one, which was located downtown. Second, she took the woman to apartment number two, which was within walking distance of a subway station. After that, she took Mary to apartment number three, which was next to a grocery store. Which apartment should Mary choose? Since apartment number one has a rat living in it, and apartment number three has a crack in one of the walls, Mary should choose apartment number two. Miss Sanders took her students camping at the weekend. She wanted to tell them about forest plants. During the trip, one of the students wandered off and got lost in the forest. Hours passed, but he couldn't find his way back. The guy felt very hungry, but he didn't have any food with him. That was when he saw three different bushes with three different kinds of berries in front of him. Only one type of berries was safe to eat, and the other two were poisonous. Which berry should he eat as he's waiting to be rescued? Remember the poster that was in the classroom? It stated that these two kinds of berries were poisonous, so only these ones are safe to eat. Sandy was driving across the country to visit her family. She was tired of being on the road and wanted to take a break. She saw a diner and stopped there to have something to eat and rest. The diner looked empty, old, and dirty. The waitress told her there were only three meal options to choose from and asked her which one she wanted to eat. So which one looks safe to eat? Do you see the fumes coming from the first meal? They're green. That can't be a good sign. And the third meal has a little bug on it. Yikes! So Sandy should eat the second meal. And get the heck out of there. 
Audrey won the Best Actress Award at a film festival. But when she left the stage and went to give an interview to the reporters, her award was stolen. A police officer arrived and found three suspects. The first suspect was Grace, a cleaning lady. She said she had been taking selfies with her favorite celebrities backstage and didn't have anything to do with the award. The second suspect was Gabrielle, a reporter. She said she had stolen the award because she had been with other reporters waiting for her turn to ask Audrey some questions. The third suspect was Catherine, an actress. She said she was not the one who had stolen the award because she had been among guests watching the show. Besides, she already won the Best Actress Award last year. The police officer knew who was lying. And you? Take a closer look at the selfie Grace took. You can see Catherine behind, sneaking away with the award.